Hey guys, how's the quiz? Anyway, I'm still on Kairos. Um, you guys are still there. Sucks to be you. All right, now, so this next worksheet, this is stuff we've been working on before, just a little bit, just want to get back to it. What we're talking about now are fields. If you recall, the force of something, the force of the charge is going to be K, Q1, Q2 over R squared. This is, remember, if you have one charge, you've got a field, two charges, you've got a force. In this case, we're going to take one of the fields, uh, one of the, the fields away, one of these charges away, and we give it the symbol E, okay? So E is going to be, which is the field, that's our field, is going to be K, Q1 over R squared, okay? That is an equation that we use. Another one we can use is this. We can say that the field, well, it's simply the force over what we call Q prime, which is the test source. The, so the, the force on this test source, okay, on this point charge, so this is the force, it's the overall force, divided by the point charge gets you the field, which is basically the same thing that we're talking about, right? So in a sense, we've gone and uh, just taken it and divided by this guy, which is the second charge. That second charge is a teeny, teeny, teeny charge, so it's not affecting the whole thing. And this is a specific situation for it, okay? So if you take a look at something like this, positive test charge, magnitude, okay? So you go Q prime, 2.410 to the negative eighth coulombs. See how small that is? We've been using negative six, now it's negative eight. So it's, be, its field is inconsequential. And the force is 1.5 times 10 to the negative third newtons. Cool. Well, if you take a look, hey, I'm trying to find the field. I know the force. I know the chart. Pretty darn simple to do. Here, a test charge, just screwing around with this equation. That's all we're doing. Test charge in electric field is uh, electric field strength. That's the 21.45 times uh, 21.45 newtons per coulomb for that guy there experiences a four, boom, there's that there, and now you're just finding the magnitude of the test charge. Easy peasy. Next thing, okay, and all we're doing in this section is we're just trying to figure out what the field is, and we're going to be using that field for different stuff later, but right now we're just trying to play with this concept of field. Remember, field is this weird sort of amorphous thing. It's this, it exists out there, like with gravity. I have a gravitational field right here, but you don't feel it until something else goes in there, because then the two fields will affect each other, you get a force. One is a field, two is a force. A test charge, okay? So that's that Q prime. Q prime, negative 3.00, uh, I'll just go 3, times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs, place an electric field, field E, 121 newtons per coulomb, okay? It wants to know the magnitude and direction of the force, okay? Now, with this, we are trying to find the force. So once again, you've just got this guy. And you guys can do the work. You've got the Q, you've got the field, figure out the force. That's algebra one. Now, it also says what's the direction. Remember, fields always go, arrows, from positive to negative, from positive, to, so coming out of the positive. So now you go, okay, I've got a negative charge, positive field, in that direction. So which way is it going to go? Negative and positive. Attract. That sucker's going up. Okay? Uh, four. Same as it ever was. So don't worry about those guys. Those guys are pretty simple. Okay? So you're just going to be jamming through these. That's what you're going to be doing. Um, this guy. Remember we're talking about with the equation if you start screwing around with stuff. So if I've got my uh, field equation, K, uh, Q prime, okay, over the R squared, or the uh, field is the force on Q, Q prime, divided by Q prime. Okay, object charge of Q creates an electric field. Positive test charge, Q, is used to test the strength. Use the scenario to answer the following questions. If the charge of the test is doubled, Okay, so you're saying the chest charge is doubled. Well, if it's doubled, I take a look here, you double it, then you're going to double that guy. Then it says the electric field strength at this location, if you go, uh, ba, 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 ba. 
So if the charge test charge is doubled, then it'll experience that uh, force. The electric field strength at this um, location, okay? So we realize this guy's gonna be doubled because we got that. And the electric field strength at this location will also be doubled, okay? Oh, I take it back. Oh, I'm lying, I'm lying sack of poo. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's gonna be the same. Why is it the same? For the force, we realize that the force equals K, Q prime, Q, uh, Q1, Q2 over R squared. So if I double one, it's gonna double it. But remember, relative to this guy, this guy is like nothing. It's like nothing. So therefore, the field strength is gonna be the same. The reason we want it to be the same is this. I'm trying to figure out what this field is. If I introduce another field which is too big, it's gonna screw it up. We won't be able to know. So that means that this little field strength there is basically zero. So it's not gonna affect the other one. This is only with test charges, only with test charges. Now it says, if the charge of the object Q is doubled, okay, then the test charge, well, it's gonna exert a field of two times force. And the electric field strength, well, I'm doubling this guy now, not the test one. This is the big guy, that's the small guy. It's sort of like, this is the elephant, these are the fleas. If I double the mass of the fleas on an elephant, it makes no difference. I double the mass of the elephant, makes a difference. So what happens here? The electric field strength location will be two times. It'll be double. And then you guys can do the other ones. They're just basically the same as they ever were. Okay. I'll let you guys go through and do the other ones. The last ones I really wanted to talk about uh, a little bit uh, is this guy. A couple of these guys. Particle with charge positive Q right there in a uniform electric field. Okay, and you're going to use one of these to figure out what's happening with it. Okay, so it says the charge Q on the particle is doubled. Okay, now take a look. Is it going to change the direction only? No, because the direction's still the same. Increase the mag. Yes, this is the dude that it will do. It's going to increase the magnitude. It's certainly not going to decrease it, and it's going to increase. It's a bigger charge, and because it's not affecting direction, none of those apply. The sign of the Q is changed to the opposite sign. Well, it's not in positive, it's gonna be negative. Well, will that change the direction? Oh yeah. Will it change the magnitude? Oh no, because I haven't changed the actual charge. So that one's gonna be just a single I. Particle is given a push, causing a leftward initial velocity. Uh, the magnitude of the uniform electric field is halved. You rotate, take a look at those, do those yourself. Remember the answers are on the end of the worksheet, okay? And then, uh, last little thing, these guys. These are these field lines, okay? So, here, remember, fields always come from positive towards negative. So A, that's gotta be positive. You can figure out these other ones. Let's go to this guy. It looks like it's really tricky, all sorts of lines and crap. You go, oh my God, break it down. G, which way are the arrow's going? Away, positive. H, away, positive. I, away, positive, okay? By the way, in this one, one's gonna be positive, one's gonna be negative. You can figure it out, okay? And I know we're moving real fast. The other thing about the field lines, rankings. The tighter these are together, it's like a topographical map. The tighter these are together, the greater the magnitude of the electric charge. So if you take a look, here's B. These are pretty far apart. These are pretty close together. So A must be greater than B. And you can go through, you can do the other ones as well. If you get something that's sort of funky, like this guy, you go, holy moly, that sort of thing. Which, which one has the tightest ones? I. Then which ones? H. And then J. All right, work on those. Take a look at it. You guys have had the homework and that sort of stuff. Uh, work with each other. And I will see you when I get back. Later.